Welcome to the Nosh Podcast. Once more, I want to thank you to click on this link uh, to watch us for the third, for the first, for the second time. I don't know what time are you watching us, but I want to thank you. Uh, welcome to the Nosh Podcast. Uh, as I say, since the beginning, uh, we are here. We are foreigners in the foreign land. Uh, the Nosh Podcast, the word Nosh came from Portuguese. It's mean we, and we extract this word from uh, the Ubuntu, Ubuntu sayings that together we are, together we stand. So as a foreigner, we, ha we have been facing many issues and many struggle in the foreign land. And the only way that we find to survive and to fight against this struggle is to stay together, is to be Ubuntu. So welcome once more to the Nosh podcast. For today, <laughs> I have two special guests, but before moving to them, I would like to, to share some few words about what we are going to talk about today. Today, we are going to talk about college life in India. We will be talking about many different issues like uh, lifestyle as a student in India, uh, what they have been through, if they have been using drug, <laughs> the last problems, uh, girls, dress styles, uh, academic issues, how they overcome this. As young, we know that when we get to the university, we create many expectations, but it's not what we find on many times. So uh, I would like to start introducing my, my guest. Uh, thanks God today, <laughs> I am among of my country mate, my fellows, they are all Portuguese people, they are Angolans, Africans, Ubuntu, <laughs> yeah, so uh, I will start by my friend, you can introduce yourself, tell your name, where do you live and where do you start? Okay, thank you very much for uh, the opportunity you gave me to be present this uh, this podcast, Nose Podcast. Uh, it's a podcast I've, I've been watching since like... Yeah. Can you speak more louder? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's a podcast that I've been watching since long time, like, yeah. since you, you get started. Yeah. Then like when I get invitation to come and I, yeah, I just get ready and <laughs> now I'm here yeah. and I'm from yeah. Angola, Thiago my name. Yeah. But you know, in India, you guys used to call me James because... James, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it's the translation in of the Bible, Thiago, right? Portuguese version. <laughs> so okay. I extract it. Yeah. Yeah. And you saw? Sa. Introduce yourself, Sa. Garu, Garu, Garu. Yeah. <laughs> hello, hello. Uh, my name is Alvaro. Mm -hmm. Actually, my name is Alvaro. Alvaro. Yes. So yeah. I get used with this uh, pronouns. Uh, from Angola also. And uh, I am a student of Saji of Business in Andhra University School of International Business. And I'm sorry, I forget. Yeah, you <laughs> forgot to talk about your college I and your state. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, I'm from Odisha. Odisha is a uh, state not so far from here. Then properly in Bhubaneswar. I'm mm -hmm. from Kit University, computer science student, third year. Computer science student. Ah, so today I have a computer science student and a business student. Oh, so yeah. there is no better person than you guys to talk about this subject specifically. So, uh, so let's start. Uh, tell me, how is uh, how was it the process to get into your college to come to India? How you guys get admitted to your university? Let me start by you. Okay, well, uh, the process was quite long uh, because I think it was 2020 when we uh, we were facing these pandemic issues mm -hmm. around the world and it's like everyone was stuck at home so yeah. it was difficult i even stopped uh, my studies and wherever so i was looking for a scholarship uh, definitely because i always wanted to you know to start a bird because mm -hmm. i i had a dream and it's like started computer science Study outside so i was looking for a scholarship i was searching then i find iccr scholarship uh, unfortunately, that time I think was uh, like the dead, like deadline was already done. Yep. So I found SIS scholarship, which is like another Indian scholarship for, uh, sponsored by Indian government. Mm -hmm. Then I applied. Like the process was not that difficult because the documents are 
like the common ones like certificate translation because we are from Portuguese countries yes then uh, some some health uh, certificate and like check my my health state and I have done it mm -hmm. then I apply it I just wait for like the answer then they answer me I think by one month if I'm not wrong one month. then I get their reply then I was admitting I was <laughs> really happy about that Yes, but unfortunately, we began our, our class on uh, online mode, online mode because like pandemic. So and the time difference was really tough for me yep. because like uh, in India, we have four, four hour and 30 minutes difference from Angola. Oh. Then I was having my class like um, in the morning, like the morning, 3 a.m., 2 a.m. sometimes. <laughs> okay. Then yeah, it was really tough for me, but I got yeah. used um, until I came in India in yeah. person. What about you, my young old fella? Yeah, so Mr. basically the process is quite the same, mm -hmm. uh, but with a little difference because I was not uh, admitted to under directly. Okay. Under, yeah, yes, yeah. under wasn't even my in, in none of my none options. Of your options. Yes. <laughs> so I applied for Alagapa University. Uh, Doom University and uh, the National Institute for Tourism and Hospitality at Hyderabad. Yep. I was uh, accepted uh, by the National Institute of Tourism and Hospitality at Hyderabad and also by uh, Alagapa University. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, Alagapa University didn't send me the letter, but the other one sent. I had to choose which one I would pick, and I picked. The, the, the one in Hyderabad, the uh, National Institute for Tourism and Hospitality. Yeah. In the beginning, I was having online classes, and as I said, it was very difficult because the, the, the time difference between Angola and India is, is, too, is too many, it's huge, one hour and half. Yeah. So the first class I used to have at half past four. Uh, here in India, it's nine, in Angola, it's half past four. It's very difficult. You have to, first you have to sleep early, and sleeping early in Angola is very difficult. <laughs> and then you have to, to, to sleep, I mean to wake up early also, like uh, four, so that you can set up everything, you make sure your connection is correct, is okay, and you make sure your laptop is charged. And you know in Angola we have also some problems of electricity and yeah, Wi-Fi. Yeah, a lot Someone of problems. Get killed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of problems. But then, um, suddenly I received a <coughs> notification from my CCI, which is the sponsor of the scholarship, and yeah. uh, they were diverting my 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 application from Hyderabad to Andhra. Yeah, so I ended up here, and yeah. this is the part. Here. <laughs> One thing that they could uh, analyze between you guys that you have in common. Is that you guys start your online your classes online? Yeah, and you were admitted on the same time. It was on COVID time. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, and I could realize that you guys face the same problem. <laughs> Definitely. First the internet and then electricity yeah, and, and all the issues with the time. But I believe that you guys get surprised when you reach here. Sure. You realize that the class start at nine, right? Yeah. yeah. Nine and eight. Yeah. It's a good. So. How was the interaction between the student, international student in this case, between the student and the teachers, and be between your classmates also? First, talk about it online, mm. and then move to the physical. Well, the online was like, the interaction was quite good. Because, you know, as an international student, I think it uh, was my first time to start with internationals. Like, and then I think for them also was the same thing because they have one international in their class because they are Indians. Then I noticed something in the beginning, um, like we create the WhatsApp group yeah. where like our faculty used to like send our assignments, you know, find out about something. Then most of them began to text me like in private mood, like yeah, yeah, and oh, bro, where are you from? Which time do you speak? <laughs> and this kind of thing. And it's like, it's because I'm an international <laughs> student. And then um, my English accent. 
Whoa, yeah, yeah. my English yeah. accent. Because they uh, like they were trying to understand is this guy from Africa or not? Yeah. Because like in Africa we have uh, some kind of accent for mm -hmm. English, yeah, because it's not yeah. our first language. The influence of our mother tongue. Sure, is sure. Like... Then, bro, are you from uh, are you from Africa? <laughs> yes, I'm from Africa. I'm from Angola. And then most of them they don't know Angola. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. yeah, it was like the interaction was good and like we used to have some Google meeting because we create group group studies and. Mm -hmm. Uh, if they send some assignment which we have to do in group, then we have to use um, um, Google Meeting Google or Meeting. Zoom or some other platforms. So we used to do that. Then, like the interest was good. Then when I came, I came in my second year, I think half of the second of the first semester, yep. because when I came the next week, I, I began to do my like um, my midterm exam. So then we began our offline classes, but it was in a hybrid mood. Because like in our camps, there are many students, then they, they had to divide it. Like some guys sure. online, some guys offline. Yeah. Then most of the guys online were international because we had to leave soon. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. like the COVID will, will raise. So yeah, I, there were also some Indians nationals and, in my classroom, they, I think they were, they were happy, all of them, they were up to be, to have an international student. Yeah. And believe me, they was like, they were, they used to bring me some biscuit and some stuff in classroom just because, yeah, we have international, our friend, our friend. I didn't ask you if you had it in Africa. What? Uh, what, what? Do you have biscuit in Africa? Oh, no, no, <laughs> they didn't ask no, no like, they have a bit idea about Africa, like, the thing, yeah. Our place is like jungle, you know. Mm, like yeah. we, mm. we live. No, we will <laughs> get into this, man. <laughs> Calm down, just keep on. So, how was it? The interaction between the students, online, and then moving to the physical one. You know what? Um, I was very surprised when I was uh, called first by um, an Indian student. In, the, in this case, one of my colleagues. Yeah. Uh, when I was still uh, having classes online, uh, she was she was really uh, how can I say? Uh, she was really good with me. She was the first one who was giving the first inputs about the city, about the the, the university, and all all, all, all the things uh, uh, and all. And as I used to have a lot of problem with internet connection. Sometimes electricity was not there. And she's the one who used to send me some notes also. Okay. But mostly I have, uh, I have one colleague from South Africa who used, she's the one who used to take care of me basically because she already knew when I was not online is because this guy is having some problem and she used okay. to send me. But basically all the Indians in that university, they were very good and they were always trying to, to check up on me. And as he said, I think, it's quite the same, yeah. Because at that university, we were very few international students from Africa. Mm -hmm. There were people from Afghanistan, people from I think they, they I, I don't I don't remember, but it might be Turkmenistan or something like that. Mm -hmm. Also, then, and most of them were <laughs> Indians. And there were some classes that they used. We used to uh, attend classes all together. Uh, MBA and BBA all together, and people always trying to check where where are these people from? Where are they? <laughs> yeah, so it was quite difficult in the beginning because of the way they, they they speak, the way they pronounce the words. But not at all for me because I have, uh, I mean, I had already some experiences with the languages, and uh, also dealing with Indians from back at home. Yeah, it was chill. It was chill. Yeah, okay. It was good, very good. So you guys are too, too, too serious. <laughs> I believe that it's, it's because I didn't start yet to screw you guys. So <laughs> let's get this more deeper. Don't realize. Really so so <laughs> before we came here, yeah, we used to watch uh, Indian movies and hey. video clip and all those things. And oh, I'm talking about the Africans. All of us, we had the, the dream like, nah, man. Mm. Soon I reach India, I need to take one girl, man, because they are too beautiful, <laughs> they are too kind, and they are too, too, too much, too much of all those things that we used to see in the movie, right? 
And I believe that you guys also had the same idea. <laughs> yeah, I so, <laughs> tell me, you guys. So, you guys are too serious. Now, tell me. <laughs> you guys had this dream, like, yeah, as soon as I reach India, uh, I will meet a girl and I will, maybe I will find my wife or the love of my life in this land. Mm. <laughs> so, tell me, you guys, where this dream went? Because, what happened? When you guys came here, <laughs> the impression that you had about the, the girls in the past is the same that you have now. And why it changed? Well, <laughs> well, let me louder, please, okay. because I want to listen. <laughs> okay, let me be let, let me be honest with you. Yeah, be honest. Uh, Honesty, please. Well, when I realized to come in India was uh, the first was for my studies, you know, because. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Indian they have very good reputation uh, for like IT, IT, mm -hmm. and these computer science and some other IT sections. So uh, I, I wanted to come. I really wanted to come. Then when I decided to come, then mm -hmm. I came. Definitely, I came. Yeah. Then I, I find the reality is uh, totally different from what I was um, mm -hmm. I used to see on the internet. Then. Like the environment was quite good because I was like uh, trying to see my our camps videos um, online YouTube and wherever because there is many uh, my university we have many students which are like um, YouTubers mm -hmm. then there are many videos of our our Ooh. camps on YouTube then I was trying to see how is it and then try to figure out how I can <laughs> be there then I can like find like it's quite the same thing what I used to see. Now for the girls, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is for the girls. I don't want to go into like deeper. Uh -huh. like, nah, she like, Okay, okay. Let me let me be honest. She is waiting thing. for the answer also. So okay, okay. These ladies, when I was having my online classes, yeah, then those who used to text me the most mm -hmm. were girls. Girls. Yeah. <laughs> to me, this is I'm being honest. Why? Well, I don't know. They're because kind. <laughs> not more calm. You know, Indians I don't are think boys, boys are more friendly, are more like. But they are no, very jealous. Yes, yes, are yes, yeah. jealous. Very jealous. jealous. Yeah. yeah, boys are very jealous. They are more friendly. Keep on. No matter what, they are coming. More, more friendly. <laughs> come. Uh. Then they are more like near guys, and you know the girls. Indian. One thing I noticed for Indian girls, they are a bit shy or sometimes like like a high level shy. High level. Then it's pretty difficult or difficult to deal with them like to like to even a simple hello how are you doing like it's it's really tough to deal with it but i think it depends because in our campus we have many uh many students from other states from india yeah then those from outside like they are more you know you have easy interaction mm -hmm. different from those from that state like odisha yeah Bhubaneswar principally mm -hmm. yeah because it's like they are most conservative uh, that place there is many, uh, there are many temples and wherever. Oh. So they are close people. Close. Yeah. But those from outside, they are more easy to get, to get used to. To get used, used to. to? Yes. Ah, okay. So <laughs> you make sure it. that you finish your <laughs> sentence. Girls and boys. <laughs> Otherwise, there will be an, a misunderstanding no, here. Girls, girls and boys. Ah. Girls and boys. And get now, used to. No, you, you, no, you, no get, I mean, get used to, you know, to, yeah, to, uh, to have interaction. Okay. Okay. Ah, to have Hello, interaction. How are you doing? Ah, okay. <laughs> Just fi finish your sentence. <laughs> don't let it like this. Get. <laughs> No, 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 I don't have Indian girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alvaro, how was it? Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, my mind was not too focused on that. Uh -huh. Because uh, when I came, I was committed to someone. Oh, my God. And that was not just a time passing. Mm. That was something serious. So, serious. you was Thank already you. married? No. Good, good guy, good guy. Not married. You told me that. No. It was too serious. Yes, it was serious. Nah. I'm a serious man, no? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a serious guy. Yeah, he's a serious guy. I'm a serious guy. Definitely. Yes. He's, he's my friend. He's a serious I'm, guy. Uh, let, let me tell you, I don't date someone just for time passing. Jesus if Christ. I am dating someone, I have to take her in consideration. Come on. She has to take me in consideration. Sure, sure. Come I cannot on. date someone just for one week, two weeks. No, you oh my God. I'm a man. By I'm the way, serious, man. he's still single till now. Yes, That's I'm right. single now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm single now. How was it? How was it the interaction? And 
how was your perspective about the, the Indian girl before you came mm. and now that you are here? You know, uh, when we were teenagers, we used to, to watch, as you said, all those Indian movies from Bollywood, mm -hmm. uh, probably also from Hollywood, because before I came, I couldn't, uh, I was not able to distinguish which movie from Bollywood or from Tollywood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't even know that Tollywood existed. <laughs> I, don't know <laughs> I didn't even know, now I know. <laughs> so we used to watch a lot of Indian movies, you see all the girls, beautiful women, and no one in Angola, uh, uh, I mean, almost everyone in Angola uh, dreamed to, to, to have a, a, an Indian woman. <laughs> almost everyone had this dream because, yeah. because of the movie. Yeah, they are said to be the most beautiful. I mean, at certain time, they were said to be the most beautiful, beautiful. woman in, 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 in the, the world. world. Yeah. yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you, 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 sure. you have this, this sure, desire sure, sure, sure. for one day, no? But when I came, definitely, uh, that was not my, I mean, my mind was not too much focused on that. Because uh, for the reason I told you guys, uh, I had, you know, yeah. someone who was taking my dream and my breath away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> Mysterious girl, yeah. <laughs> so guys, uh, just stop, stop a little bit yeah. and check out on this. This is a bean board, Chino Walter. If you want to have a quality time, the best coffee, milkshake, and yeah. all of this, you can meet us here at Bean Board Chino Walter. This is the best place. Even if you work remotely, you are looking for a place to work quietly with a good environment and a good coffee, this is the bean board. So tell me, uh, uh, Tiago, what are you eating and what are you drinking? Banana bread. Banana yes, bread. Really yeah. good. Okay, I mean, what are you drinking? I'm really enjoying it. Also, this cappuccino. There's right? a cappuccino. Yeah. Okay, really how do you find it? Well, good taste. To be honest, I like, I like the banana. I like too much banana. 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 It's Come on, banana man. bread. You are Definitely, <laughs> you are saying this openly. <laughs> you are African, man. You cannot say openly that I like <laughs> banana, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, tell me. I mean, I mean, <laughs> tell me. I, I, yeah. I would say 100% of Africa eat like banana. Like banana, yeah, yeah. but we can, we cannot say it in public, man. <laughs> then no way, no way to dislike it. No way yeah, to dislike yeah. it. Definitely. But the way it depends, mm -hmm. depends on really. the way you eat banana. Yeah, yeah. The, you cannot eat banana deep, just man. <laughs> so all the way. <laughs> yeah. So how, so how bean board, bean board, banana bread is definitely good. Definitely, I, good. I really. You do. will suggest to your friends. Definitely, man. Come on, bro. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> what are you eating over? Uh, this is the blueberry pastry. Blueberry pastry. Uh, I have tasted some blueberry pastry, pastry in different places, but I always come here. Bean board. Bean board. China water. Bean board. Yeah. China water. Make sure that actually, you come in this place. Actually, uh, I've been to several places here in Vizag. Yeah. You don't have to mention the name because they yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But this one, this, this one is good. This is the one which attracts me more yeah. here. And the coffee is good. The coffee also. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The coffee I'm is eating very good. cheesecake and it's amazing. I'm almost finishing, man. Yeah, because this cheesecake is very tasty. And also cappuccino. And also I can suggest you the hot co hot chocolate. It's amazing. The the manager of this program, Elton, Elton Garcia, <laughs> the best guy, in <laughs> one of the best guys in the podcast, is the one who is drinking hot chocolate. So if you want to have the same thing, you can find us here. You can find it here at Beanboard Channel Walter. Can so, I ask something, please? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, I would, uh, would like to ask you, you people who is watching this podcast now, so whenever you have time, come to be in Borchina Walter. Yep. And don't forget, please, drop your like and subscribe to this podcast. You have nothing to lose. Everything you want is here in this podcast. Definitely. And As Alvaro me, said, for me, I think every time I reach this state, <laughs> definitely I will come to be in Borchina. Definitely, definitely, man. Tell to your friends in Abuba Nesh, man. Soon we are going to be there. We are going to open a special bean board in the Buba Nation. <laughs> Just be because of you, Tiago. I'll be waiting for you guys. Yeah, definitely. You, so be moving to our, to our subject. So back home, we can see uh, a big difference between the, the students who study in the public college mm. and in the pre private college, you know? 
And most of those people who, who go to the public one, they have a less condition to, to support yes, the study. Yes. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, fortunately, God blessed me. Back in Angola, I used to study in a private college, and I, I could see like how expensive it was, and which kind of people were there. So, mm. do you realize that in India we have the same difference? How do you balance this? What are the difference that you guys find out between the private and pu public college? Do you see many difference or well, any uh, difference? I have been to Gitam, uh, Gitam, Gitam College. Mm -hmm. I think that is private. Yep. And I have the, the, the experience in the first person at Andre University. Yep. And I have noticed some differences. Uh, I cannot speak in deep or in depth. Mm -hmm. how, how, how is it? because I don't have a lot of contact with, with the student. Sorry, the sorry, department. sorry, sorry. Now I remember one thing. Mm. Studying in India always send the student for the private college, oh, right? Yeah. College. And I see here most of them are from the public. No, all, public. Of all, all of them. All of them. All of them. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I would like to do a small exercise <laughs> <laughs> because he um, belongs to the private, private one. Yeah. So just tell me how is to study in the private one. According to what you say, I believe that Alvaro will make the comparison and answer for it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so before you start, Alvaro, you can keep up yes, on talking yeah. and speak about specifically for the public college. Uh, I would speak about Chandra University because yeah. it's the one I have experience yep. in. So before I came, mm -hmm. uh, actually, uh, I cannot lie. My expectation was very high because I was making comparison with, with the previous college I was in, in Hyderabad, which yeah. accepted me, despite I was not there in person, but I, I have seen the videos and my colleague used to, to, to share some pictures mm -hmm. and <clears throat> stuff like that. And then, when I uh, received the notification from my sister that I would be coming to uh, uh, Andhra, I asked one of my, my colleagues there, sorry. I asked, uh, sorry. I, I, I will, sorry, I will be moving to, to Andhra University and I asked, do you know anything about Andhra University? What they said? Ah, man, what, what she said, it was like, it was scaring. What she said? She said, Andrea, Andrea is not good. Uh, that you know, actually, oh. she used some strong words that I cannot say here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was very scaring. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. very scary. And then I went to YouTube to, to check on, on the facilities, hostels, and I don't know if in the, in, in the private universities like that, but the hostels in the, in the, in the public, uh, I don't know. It scared me. Okay, like, my... And I asked myself, this is the place where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> what about uh, you? Then? Okay, uh, for my own experience, yeah. when, when first I reached in India, like, I, I was in um, first year student. Oh, first year hostel, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. yep. Then I think... Uh, the condition was good. Mm -hmm. I definitely like it. But then after they changed us to another one because uh, we were, I was doing my second year. Then they shifted me to another hostel. And then when I reached the place, man, the place was even better. Mm. <laughs> even better. Yeah, even better. Wow. To be honest. Private. Yeah. 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 Even better. Wow. Now we see the difference. Then, well, I feel I, I feel uh, real accommodated. Then i um, with my my partner from the previous mm. the previous hostel. Yeah, and I see, yeah, the conditions are, are good. I think the private university, you know, uh, the private are also more commercials. Commercials, you know? yeah. Then everything they do, they think on their target people, yeah. their target students. So they make sure they will do everything really, really, really good, really organized. So the hostel, the libraries, the classrooms, every facility is in my place. Like is, I can say five star, five star, five star, definitely. <laughs> five yeah. star. Then like, they they even give me a new laptop. Then they give me a laptop when I was back home. 
wow. when I was doing online classes, mm -hmm. they sent me the laptop uh, through Amazon. Man, I Amazon want to USA. come to a college. <laughs> <laughs> a new one, man. <laughs> a new one. I was the first one to set it up. So wow. it was a really, really good laptop. It's the one I use up today. Up today? Yeah. yeah. So, guys, as you can see, we have uh, two experience from two different peoples here. One is studying in a private college, another one is studying in a public college. One is from study in India, another one is for ICCR. So if you are planning to come to study in India, you have two options. As my guest says, one had applied for study in India, and another one had applied for ICCR. I believe that soon both they will be open, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So No, ICCR is already open. ICCR uh, is not working properly. Not yeah. working properly. Yeah, and I think so, there are some technical issues. Yes. So we will put their names on the description of this video. I believe that if you have any doubt, they can get in touch with you guys by your social media. Yeah. But don't call Alvaro, please, because you need to sleep to study also. <laughs> if you are a girl, you can Final call. Exam next, next if month. you are a girl, you can call. But if you are a man, you, you need to choose the time. <laughs> Both also, Tiago, especially for the girls. Yeah, if you want to call Tiago, yeah. Just, you can call anytime. 24 hours, you will be available I'll for be you. available, definitely. But make sure that you are beautiful, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. They, they will be totally available to exchange. Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh, we had this kind of impression like the Indian guys are, are smart, are hard worker, they start a lot and all those things. So I have one important question to make you guys. How was it to come here? I believe that everyone who reach in and start studying, they face pressures by the study. They feel under pressure on the exams, on the grades, and com uh, too much competition among the students. So how do you guys think about it? Did you also face a pressure on anything? Yeah during the process of your study? What about how you felt when you saw your grades? Did you feel any competition between you and your fellow mates or the Indian mates? Well, Let's start with, okay. with Tiago. Okay, let me Let's start. go to the public <laughs> five-star college. Let me start, okay. Um, yeah. For the private, for the private, uh, private college, mm -hmm. um, like I think it's in general, not only in private college. Yeah. Because one thing I noticed is like Indians, mm -hmm. they used to compete to each other. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is what they do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I realize it. I, I, I can notice it. Yeah. Then um, some of them, they like, they are starting and like, um, they are main objective is like, good grades right like everyone yeah. wants good grades but it's just to make their parent proud of them you know but at the end of the day grades doesn't matter at all you know okay. you have uh, you must have skills and then grade you can have an average grade but if you get uh, if you have good skills then i think you have a half page uh booked this yeah. is my my point of view regard but you know competing to each other is unnecessary Unnecessary. Really unnecessary. This is a college. This is not high school, a manor school, <laughs> private school, you know. It's a college. No, but I somehow think, this is a kind of motivation. So that no, you can yeah, look, it's a, it's a motivation, good, it's a motivation, but not necessary to compete to each other, you know. But we need all... What do you think about it, Alvaro? I think, I think that we always need a reference point. I can take uh, one of my colleagues has a reference point. Mm -hmm. So, it's like... A, escalating mm -hmm. I see my colleague we, we attend the same classes okay. we have the same teachers okay mm -hmm. definitely we don't have the same understanding mm -hmm. but we have almost all the same thing in the balance and then why does he have higher scores and I am always having lower scores then I will take my colleague as a reference I think this is the kind of competition we have to deal with uh, but coming to India is this is not only about the competition. There are other things involved. Which are the things that are involved? I have been here, my teachers, and uh, guest lecturer speaking, and most, the, most of the time when they are scolding my colleagues, yeah. they say that you are here only because you want to have good reputation, 
so that you can arrange good marriage, something like that. Oh. This is, there, there's a thing that I, I, I actually, that's, this is a, a set of things that uh, we are talking about. It's not only getting job because most of the people are not there for getting good job. I have experience for my, 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 my college. It is quite, uh, I can say, most of the Indian students in my college, they are coming from, I don't say rich, because I don't know very well, but clearly you can see that they are coming from a like wealthy fam family. Oh, a family with good yeah. reputation, right? Mm -hmm. A wealthy family. And you can see uh, clearly this is unfolding. Yeah. So, and even the lecturers, they know what, what is their purpose by going to college and stuff like that. Yeah, so, so for us Africans, we have our own purpose. The kind of education we receive back at home, uh, the reputation is not the same as receiving uh, education here in India or, other, or somewhere else abroad, you see. But in the end of the day, uh, when you create your own <coughs> competition, when you create something as a reference so that you can escalate and you can become something, I mean someone uh, with a with, with a, a higher success, it's it's so good. So you are saying that uh, there are many things that influence the Indian guys to be very competitive. Yes. So it's not about only to have the the highest grade. It can be also families issues, society, and all those things. As by my understanding, yes, because. Uh, We've met a lot of guys uh, who has been, I mean, who, who, who told us about things like that. Because for men, example, for the men, a young man, uh, the higher qualification he has, the better for him to get a good wife. Oh, get it a good great thing if you're a good wife. Yes. <laughs> this is not me saying, this is oh my God. like a... Uh, you know, uh, everything I've, depends you share on the same view. Uh, I I don't know, but I've already heard about. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's um, I think culture. Mm -hmm. It's it, it's the pain of the culture, mm -hmm. and then it's true that you know Indian culture have decided. You know, the more reputated mm -hmm. one you are. They imagine yourself back home in another like <laughs> you are going to introduce yourself to. To an old man, oh, yeah. the, the father of your ex-girlfriend, for example, <laughs> and he will be asking, "What is your grade in math? <laughs> What's your grade in, in chemistry? He doesn't, he doesn't huh? make sense. What's your grade in computer science?" It doesn't yeah. make sense. It yeah. doesn't, doesn't make, make any sense. For us, it doesn't make sense, yeah. but for them, it makes sense. And one interesting thing that it it is working till today. No, I, I because think, I have been in uh, that thing that I told you, the the broke marriage. Yeah. The profile that they create for each guy, it is like, where does he work? Where yeah, does he study? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which grade he have? Yeah. You know, this is also one of the requirements for marriage. This thing is serious. You know, you know, in my conception, this is not bad at all. Because me, as a, a father, uh -huh. uh, I wouldn't be happy if my, my daughter uh, get married to someone who is not able to hand his family, is not able to support her at all, and taking care of the family. Yep. I think this is more uh, what the parents here in India are concerned about. Okay. So they have to make sure that uh, their daughter is going to, to, to have the kind of life standards that they are used to, and their parents, they were providing to her. Mm -hmm. So me, I, I think, I think, or I assume that the parents think like that, because it's not good for a father to see a daughter getting married to a man, and that man is not able to handle the the the, the finance. <laughs> Will you the be financial. this kind of father? Will you do the same? No, no, no. Wait, like, um, like for us Africans, we have different mindset. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, from my side, our culture. From yeah. where we are from, um, if you are a good man, mm -hmm. not properly reputed man, mm -hmm. just good man, like responsible one. Responsible. Now I think yeah. is enough uh, that some parents give you their son. 
How you know, is how is to be the good man in life? Let, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Just speak in general. Let him finish his point. Let him finish his point, and then you talk about it. Okay. Good. Like good man. Good man is like for me. Uh, someone with in you know, Africa view. Yes, yeah. in Africa view. Uh, <laughs> concretely, in our place. <laughs> Sorry. You know. Yep. Good man. If I if I uh, if I was a parent, then I have my daughter. Yep. I could have like have a conversation with the man. Who is yeah. Imagine I'm the guy. Okay. Let me ah. let me see. Like what is the, the, re the requi <laughs> requirements I would yeah. I would like um, the man to have is, mm -hmm. you know, good man. When I'm talking about good man, I'm talking about like. Uh, someone responsible, you know, because responsible. responsibility means many things. It's like it's aggregating many, right. many, I many can come to you and tell you that I'm responsible. No, how do you <laughs> will we gotta be look. assured that I'm a responsible man? Look, uh, I'm dating your daughter. Man. Okay, just imagine this contest. <laughs> your daughter is here and I'm here. Yeah, father. <laughs> What what you do in life? Uh, yes. What I, you do in life? I, when, I when, I, when I say what you do in life, I'm not uh, trying to say how much you have. You know? Yeah. How healthy you have. This is not the point of view. Yeah. If you are a man that you are trying to figure out your life, you know, fighting for your dreams. Yeah. This is definitely a good man, man. You don't yeah. you don't you don't need to have millions mm -hmm. or like. A nine point something CGPA on the certificate. <laughs> this yeah. is not one of our you know, requirements. Me, yeah. You know, we are speaking like this, but this is a little bit contradictory. Contradictory. Has, yeah. Has have been seen back at home. You know, here in India, for the men, oh. uh, the higher qualification you have, better for the men. But in Africa, the higher qualification you have, better for the family of your girl. Your girl. Because you know how is it here in India? Uh, actually, now they say that this, this, these things of giving dowry it doesn't exist anymore. But some guy says that they yeah. need to start a lot. They I have, have a friend who paid them three crowns. But yeah, this, this thing still exists. Yeah, you see, actually, yeah. actually they, they, they inverted the the. the the words they say it's not yeah. direct, that this is a gift. A gift. <laughs> in, 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 so not be yeah. a crime because yeah. now it's a crime. Mm. On the but uh, oh. on, on, on yeah. the field. I didn't know that. <laughs> now it's a crime. Yeah, I'm moving India. Now it's, now. It, it's oh. said to be a crime, but you can you can give gift, which in the practice is all the same thing. Okay. But back at home is different. You as a man, you have to give it to to, to your family. I mean to your uh, wife's family. Yeah. You see. So the higher are your qualified, the higher uh, uh, your qualifications are, the better, and they will grill you more. You know that. Yeah. It and is even, like and, and also, and also, uh, and also, uh, in the past, uh, if you were like uh, coming from a, a, a family which does not have resources, uh, probably you wouldn't get married so easy. Back in the time, it was like that because, the yeah, yeah. Where, because yeah, because specifically here. Yeah. No, 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 in Angola. Oh, in Angola. Africa, mostly in Africa, no, mostly man. in Angola. Now, uh, uh. no, don't you say this. No, we are in Angola, so yeah, don't start this discussion for no, 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 no. Just, just because just, we have a story in the past that many people have paid the total of a thousand, uh, uh, a hundred coins. Well. Now you see the context, man. How much? So listen. in the past, it was more easy. No, now it's more no, expensive. No, we, we have to understand the time value of money. Bro, listen. Now it's more expensive. Now you will pay for the dory. No. Uh, three hundred and thousand pounds. What about? Yeah, let me tell you. Let me explain you one thing. Yeah. I always have a story. <laughs> so when I was back home, yeah. when I was back home, I was dating someone, uh, and then their parents called me to introduce myself. So her father was trying to to check if Jerry is responsible or not. As I told you, I was working back home as a field service, field service technician and maintenance specialist in one power and oil and gas company. So I could realize that the old man was trying to check if I'm responsible by his question. He yeah. was like, what's your name? I say, yes, uh, <laughs> um, my name is Jerry. Nah, full name, please. Jerry Anderson Bang. Oh, you are from Bangi family. Yeah, I say yes. So. <laughs> How many people at your home you handle? I was like, yo, 
If he is asking me how many people I can handle in my home, he wants to check if I am able to support her, her daughter. Because I cannot give you a responsibility if you are not capable for it. Mm. So he make also another question like, how do you see yourself in five years? What are your plans with my daughter? How long you guys will date? You know, those are questions that many people here will not ask you. So moving to the subject like- We never know. Nah, it's- Man, I never tried. It, all the friends that I have and ask for, they didn't answer. <laughs> Let me not get so long because I'm the one who make question here. <laughs> so it is like, uh, moving to that side of uh, in the past, it was more difficult to get married because of lack of resource. Mm -hmm. He told me his, he told me his story. He told, he, he told me like when I was youth, in our time it was more easy to get married because we didn't have expensive marriage. Mm -hmm. The family used to accept each one according yeah. to their own conditions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, back home, it was more easy in the past. That's why uh, our parents and old brothers, they say like, Man, I don't know if you guys will find a, a wife like mine, man. Because in, no, in your time, it's not possible to find a wife like your mother. It's very difficult now. Now, how much you can spend for a wedding in Angola? Eish. Too much. <laughs> Just for the traditional one. Yeah. It's not the main one. Yeah, yeah because in Africa, we, we, we marry three times. Three times? Three times. And some some families they are four times three times for the for the I mean with the same with the same with the same woman. So yeah. that's why I disagree with this point that it yeah. was more difficult <laughs> now, nah, man. It's more difficult now. Yeah. So and one thing, man, I want to ask you. In the past time when we were kids, uh, it was very difficult to see a last scene in the Indian movies. Mm. But now the sexual content and you know, you can see that people are more exposed to see them bellies and sexy clothes and all those things. So, what you guys think? What is behind it? What is really happening during this transformation? Because we always remember the Indian girls with sari full body cover and all those things. We fall in love with them by their beauty, not by their body. But now we can see the bellies and all those things. No, one thing I notice is like, um, the Bollywood, the Bo Bollywood is developing. You know, they are trying to get some international standards, oh, international like for yeah. Hollywood standards, like yeah. you know, sexual movies and these kind of hero movies. So, though they are not used to this, you know, to expose themselves, yeah. but still they are trying to do it because you know, are kind of movies that attract more viewers. Yep. You know, but then Mostly for the Western. Sure, 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 sure. Then when you expose a girl and all these uh, sexual clothes and some sexual scenes, mm -hmm. then definitely yeah, you're gonna have audience. You're gonna have audience. But this is not properly their culture because Indians they are not used to that. It's yeah. like uh, it's like perverted things for them. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but you know, is you know, in the past they also didn't used to. To drink alcohol. Yeah. In this country, it was really difficult to find smoke a spot. And smoke. Smoke. Now, yeah. in my in my place, man, almost my classmates they smoke. Oh, yeah. And classmates. they drink also Indians. Yeah. So it's like um, the times are changing, man. Times are changing. <laughs> times are okay. changing. Oh, but what do you think about worse. it? Life for worse. <laughs> because they were good without this. What do you think about it, Omar? Well. Actually, I would, uh, I would have to be an Indian guy so that I could be accurate in my response <laughs> to this question. Yeah. But, yeah, as he said, it, not only here in India, but also back uh, in, back in Angola. Yeah. You know, a, a way back, it was very rare. So mm. you, you could find, I mean, to find a, a girl with some parts of the body exposed to everyone. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we, we have some traditional clothes that you in, in, in Angola and we, we have, we call, uh, I forgot, I forgot the name, Someone Kimoni, we have Kimoni, Kimoni. Mm -hmm. yeah, so those kind of clothes, you, 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 
that cover all the parts of the body, mostly the, the, the intimate parts of the body. Yeah. Because, you know, we Africa, we are coming from a Christian background, which says that your body is very important. Besides, like yes. besides Christian background, like, is also our African values. Yeah, you know, yeah, we don't, convergent. this is not African. how we do, how we Guys, do. don't move there because <laughs> today, thanks God today, I'm sitting with three or oh, two Angolans. So three Angolans are here. So don't, don't say that our values no, is to cover our back. If no, we go to the soft side, the Mumuilas, mm. man, that's why yeah, I said yeah, the yeah. last time when the, our HOD tells that, man, guys, you need to come with your traditional <laughs> styles. I was asking myself like, is this HOD prepared to see our body? Because yeah, we only yeah. cover the downstairs. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the chairs and <laughs> it will be out. They are not prepared to face this. So yeah, don't say that. No, 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 no let, me, let, let me explain something. Uh, so, I'm sorry, we have to understand that the, the continent no. of Africa no. is like a, a multicultural place. Yeah, definitely. Where the cultures are not standardized. Even yeah. not the same. Yes. Are not standardized. Mm -hmm. You can have different traits uh, from different parts of the, yeah. the continent, mm -hmm. so that you can find uh, the, 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 the north of Sahara and the, the, the south of Sahara, where, where, where you're going to find the, the, the mostly the Africans uh, or the black people. Mm -hmm. In the north, you will see the, the, the white people, in the, black, in, the, in the south, you will find the, the yeah. black people. So that is, we start in there and we can see. Mm -hmm. the, the variety of cultures and even in the in the black uh, countries uh, we can find differences in, in, in traits of our, our culture and customs Absolutely. so talking about the uh, Mumuila specifically which is the the the, the, the soft people in, in Angola yep. that is they are, they have their own traits their own traits in, in, in their in their culture the values also yeah, the, the roots values so i think also. the roots actually actually <laughs> when we say when we say the word that's why i asked you if the, the word is changing for the better of the world <laughs> for me mm -hmm. i cannot point finger and say this culture is good or this culture is bad because it, it depends on the it's value variant. it depend, depends mm -hmm. on the um, on, on, on the set of the trait that this this culture is carrying because what is good for you may not be good for me and what's good for me may not be good for you definitely that's why when i came here or when we I came i was facing a lot of difficulties to deal with people here in india because i know this is their way of behaving and then i don't know whether i read it or whether i heard it and something that sparked on my mind and I realized I am in a place which is not mine. I don't belong to this place. So I have not to force these people to adapt to my way of living. Me, I have to get this used is to very their strong. way. Can you repeat? Just yeah. <laughs> this is very strong, please. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I thought to myself, I don't have to force these people to get used to my way of living. Yep. But me, I left my place and I came here, I have to get used to their way yeah, get I used to adapt myself you need to make Even one observation on this stage yes, sure. because many, many people can misunderstood it you know no, but if, if if these people uh all, all the people that went through i went they will understand what i mean mm -hmm. i can tell you i spent a lot of money in the hospital when i came always getting i cannot say sick but bad mood yeah yeah you know till now i cannot eat indian food at all <laughs> the real india i cannot eat by the way food. i love brianna yeah so yeah, guys, but I think is good, guys. Brianna, man. <laughs> just to remind this podcast is sponsored by being born yeah. china walter being born china walter specifically located in china walter so if you want to have a quality time a good coffee milkshake you can come here with your girlfriend if you want to have a date this is the right place be bored china walter i truly and honestly recommend you this place you need to come and have your quality time here so moving to the next question uh, i would like to to read a statement here very important there is a study that says that 10% of the students between 8th and 10th grade have used drugs. And I think you have seen this habit 
being common among the students? What is your point of view about it? <laughs> because uh, today we have many things around us influencing us to do many stuff mm. like smoke truck the way that we dress what we eat where yeah. we stay the world the way that we chill so the study confirmed this i don't know if you guys have consumed me already <laughs> but <laughs> if you have seen so you have this opportunity to share your viewpoint yeah. about it well uh, drugs yeah. are always problem in a society you know yeah every and each society drugs are always problem like from normal drugs to you know the most strongest one you know when we are when guys are growing up you know uh, you want to test everything mm -hmm. yeah you want to test everything boys or girls you want to yeah. test everything so if you don't be like uh, if you don't take care of yourself definitely you're going to go deep on it you know and it's really bad when you go really deep on it because it's tough to get out, yeah. really tough to get out. This is one thing I noticed in India. Uh, young, there are many young smokers. I'm talking uh, about experience because in my place, uh, my classmate, oh, most of the guys in university, they smoke. Girls, boys. Mm. They smoke. Yeah, they smoke. Weed, cigarettes. Well, I, I can't say it's <laughs> weed, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> Like they talk, they talk about weed. Yeah. Like they talk yeah. about something, some normal thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. they are. They talking. Jamba. Uh, yeah, yeah, these stuffs, you know. Jamba. It's more annoying in my places. Jamba. 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 Yeah, it will be easy for you to go <laughs> into <laughs> to it. To really to is, <laughs> because you get used uh, with smoke, yeah. you know. Yeah. But uh, it's a problem. It's a problem in a society because when you go deep on drugs, man, believe me, uh, you're not the same one anymore. Yeah. You're not. Yeah. Even even you, if you are a focused guy, you do your study, you do your, your stuffs. Mm -hmm. Even not getting trouble with other guys, but. It's yeah. like you are not the same one anymore. Not the same one anymore, because like um, you became a dependent one. Dependent yeah. one. Yeah, you are depending on drug. If you don't I take it, yeah, then you like it. someone, something is missing. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's uh, it's a problem. It's a problem in society. What about you? Uh, have me. you seen around what you find it? Here in here have in you India. Have you tested? Because ah. you are from Kazenga. Ah, <laughs> Kazenga. <laughs> Where are you from in, in Rwanda? I'm from Kakwaku. Ah, Kakwaku. Kakwaku. Okay, we are neighbors. Actually, uh, here in India, I don't follow a lot because I don't, uh, I don't socialize a lot with my Indian colleagues yeah. uh, outside of the college. I don't know. But how I believe it. that even on the road, they have asked yeah, but, if you but I, smoke or not. Yeah, but I've heard some things like uh, about some people even in my classroom mm -hmm. what they do when they are not in the college but just hearing maybe gossip or something like that uh, the most experience i have is from back home, back home. yeah i had yeah. uh, a lot of from from high school yep. to higher education i had a lot of colleagues who we used to smoke weed mm -hmm normal cigarette, tobacco, hmm. uh, drinking alcohol, and it's not only beer, but that everyone, the everyone, scotch. Yeah. yeah. And then one thing I noticed in this place, because, you know, we are coming from different backgrounds, mm -hmm. and everyone asked me, bro, do you smoke, do you drink? <laughs> and I say, no. This is the good thing. And then they <laughs> say, whoa, you are healthy. Yeah. You are healthy. I say, damn, man, why did you stop the smoke or drink? You can also be a healthy one. Come yeah. On, <laughs> you know, the <laughs> thing is, like, uh, just to make it very clear, on this podcast, you have three examples, like three black guys, three Africans, and they don't smoke, they don't drink. So uh, many of guys, they associate the color 
with the yeah. youth. Yeah. We can have white guy who smoke than the black guy. We can have Asian, we can have black. Look, we are all human beings. It is like you cannot associate what you see with what you think every time. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, like stereotyping. Yeah. It is like every time that you see a black guy, you cannot ask him directly like if you smoke, smoke weed. Or drink. Many times I was so yeah, yeah, on the road, see. even the yeah, old I, man. I, 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 I have one uh, experience with this issue yeah. where, where you've, you, 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 you just mentioned. Uh, I've met some guys. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing right there, but I've met some guys. So they saw me. I was looking for for some places, and I approached them and I asked where is the particular place I was uh, looking for. And yeah, they saw a black guy student. Then they were making a lot of questions: where I start, where I'm from, and stuff like that. And one of these questions they made is like, do you smoke weed? <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. And, and I asked, why are you making me this question? Do you sell weed? They said, no, we don't sell weed, but I see you black people. I said, hey, man, stop there. Why do you think all the black people from Africa smoke weed? They said, ah, no, we, 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 we hear people from Africa, you like much with, like you, they, you are, can they are getting educated yeah. by movies you know american movies, movies. Yeah. where black guys are dealing drugs, drugs police and guns movies. and whatever yeah. so yeah so, so like, guys say it to everyone yeah. you know but we are here so, so guys we are here like we don't smoke yeah. and also like uh even if we were smoking it's none of your business you yeah, cannot yeah. come directly <laughs> if you're not selling don't ask me please <laughs> so unless you are selling it <laughs> don't associate it <laughs> Not associated. And also, it is like, um, you know, it is very difficult when the people become addicted to it to stop it. Mm. Uh, everything, when it became an habit, it will be very difficult to stop it by the yeah. day to the night. Sure, you sure. know. So we just advise it because of the consequences. Yeah. Yeah. For those who do it, man, it's your health. Yeah, but it's also, also, game. also, these people from India. They have bad experience from the previous student that came before us yeah. from some other nationality oh, I will oh. not mention here. So some of students coming from Africa, they established here and they started making the commerce of drugs, drugs alcohol and also involving in prostitution and other bad, bad uh, yeah. acting. And they associate all the uh, all international, international mostly Africans from are, Africa to yeah. these actions. Okay, but if you see an American, you will not associate them. And that is legal, bro. <laughs> yeah, there is, so, there is legal, so no. Yeah. Bro, and uh, let's move to a very important question. And uh, again, I don't know if you guys have dated an Indian girl, <laughs> but I'm, I don't work with you. Uh, he used to be my roommate, but. You used to go out alone, so <laughs> if your ex is watching this podcast, it's not my fault. So <laughs> tell me, what do you prefer? An international dating, international, or the mixing one, an Indian dating uh, a foreigner? That is rare, man. It's, it is like Mission Impossible yeah, yeah, yeah. 10. Tom Cruise, right? Tom Cruise, yeah. <laughs> Tom Cruise came on Mission Impossible. Uh, what do you guys prefer? Well. Uh, have you heard about it? Like yes, I I have an experience in my place because there is uh, there are many international students yeah. dating Indian girls, mm -hmm. so it's not a problem. But most of them are they are not from my place. I mean, not from that state. Ah, Some right. state like uh, Delhi, Gujarat, mm. and these big states, you know. Yeah. Because their people are open-minded, they don't have this kind of complex of colors and whatever this background culture. Mm. So I think it's, it's not a big deal, nothing, nothing to worry about. No? Mm -hmm. But what I would like to prefer, I think some, someone from Africa. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, for me, I don't, I don't put these barriers in the front. So nationality, for me, it doesn't matter at all as long as I love this person and she does to me also. No, the problem is not nationalities or like, you know, we have different backgrounds, as I say before. Yeah. Then, you know, we are uh, accepting or not, we are so different 
than Indians. We are really wow. like we have a huge, you know, you, you, difference. You, you know. You, so you, you, let me let me just finish this yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Then it also depends on which place the person is from. Yeah. Okay. You know. Yeah. There are states, as I said before, there are states in India that it's normal for them to deal with that. Yeah. I say uh, we have African mm. students dating Indian girls, and it's normal. Mm. It's normal. But there are girls from other states. Man, the culture is totally different. Like, it's really different. Don't ever face it. No, 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 no. no bro, way. Even try. No way, no way, no way. But bro, just, let me tell you something. So the problem is the communication. Yeah. You know, the communication is the first one. But no. bro, let me let me tell you something. So sometimes the different, sometimes the differences are very good and very important. So. For me, I look always to mingle with people who have something different to add to me. Okay. Because if I, if I, if I, let me tell you something. When I grew up, I was very, very shy and very introvert people. But I started to develop this, uh, this new behaving of dealing with people, socializing, and now I am in the point I am now. So it, it is because, imagine, if I, if I found people who were like me, introvert and shy, very shy. I will, not, I will never come to this point I am now, dealing with people, socializing. And one so, thing is I noticed is these Indian girls are so shy. This, we can't do No, 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 they are not shy. Most <laughs> of them, they are not bro. shy. Shy with you, but when they are among them, they are not shy. Yes, you not among them, them, like dealing with other guys from other places, you yeah. know? Even you have a problem when you say hello, how are you doing? It's like, Listen, they still have, they, you know India Indian girls they still have that concept of you as a man you have to to to, to lead the way. It's like they will never come and approach you. Or most of bro. the time they will never come and approach bro. you telling just I love you my sister home. Indians. <laughs> they are very kind and helpful. Yes. When we came for the first time, we were struggling with assignments. Oh, they help man. us on this. Yeah. <laughs> they understood there was struggle. So you, you know, we were dying, you depressed, and they used to send it. Yeah. Yeah. Send it. I love you girls because of it. Yeah. Okay. So guys, but they are very friendly. Yeah. Just, so I know, they are friendly. Just the last, be the last question. It is like, uh, what do you feel here? We study hard to get the high grades. Yeah. Grades. Oh, we study hard. To have the knowledge and what you think about the system and what you suggest for the people that are going to apply to come this year well i would like to advise this uh, one thing yep you know before coming to india make sure you are ready you are ready yeah you are ready like <laughs> in other aspects yeah definitely yeah. like come just to study man like take the time <laughs> to do your stuff do your studies because, you know, the system here is different. It's like, you know, when we were our primary school, um, high school, the assignments, some work to do, is exactly the same in our, like in college. Yep. Back home is totally different. You have less assignments. Yeah. It's just more, I think, more presentation, right? You do yep. a slide and you present uh, what you have to say. But not many assignments. Yeah. Yeah. But in this place is different. You have many assignments, like you have a class from Monday to Friday, mm. then you take the weekend to do your assignments. So definitely you are not resting at all. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you are not getting enough time to rest. Mm -hmm. So uh, make sure you, you are ready for that, you know? Yeah, you need because 27 people, hour people day. think, oh, okay, we are in India, these guys are chilling. Now we have no <laughs> podcast, so, okay, these guys are really chilling, they are eating. We still have a thousand assignments to do. <laughs> we don't have a free time. So don't think that we are here, we are relaxed. No, yeah, yeah, these guys are eating <laughs> banana bread and beer. Yeah, <laughs> so definitely they are, they are chilling. chilling. No, no, we are not. <laughs> we are, we are not chilling. chilling. Okay, we yeah. are just trying to manage our time. Yeah, yeah definitely. Manage our, there's a guy, they go to the uh, clubs and wherever, but mm. they yeah. are still doing it in the average way. You know, to, before the starting of the weekend, they are done with all the assignments. Then if you miss, then let's mark. If you upload it or submit it late, also less mark. Yeah. So it's something you have to deal with, definitely. Yeah. But if we start for for grades or for knowledge, uh, I will um, I will talk about my experience. You know. Yeah. I'm focused more on my you know my skills, not properly grades. Yeah. No. 
Okay, <laughs> not properly grades because, look, uh, everyone can have a good grade. Yeah. Like we are used to in India, you you can check uh, the limit of the grade. They are from like eight or seven point something up to nine or even ten. Mm -hmm. You know, but if you check. Most of them, some skills are missing, even the basic <laughs> one. The basic, even yeah, the basic yeah. one. Then, here in India, we have uh, like many privilege because like internet is cheap. Yep. Uh, different to our place, different internet is cheap. Then you can have online courses. Yeah. Extremely good courses. Yeah. Yep. That can like. Um, to skill up. Yeah. To skill up to self. Yeah. Then this is what I try to do, you know. In my free time, my sources, I, yes, are available. Yeah, 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 sure, sure. Because, man, believe me, grades will take you not like uh, it's not. It should not be a prioritized one, yeah. you know. Skills is more important. Nowadays, there are engineers working on Google, Microsoft, and some of these big companies. They are not even graduated. Yeah, you get yeah, it, right? Definitely. So skill. Nowadays, skill not properly grade. Have a good grade, definitely. You are not saying that do not study on, do not have good grades. Just focus on skill because skills gives good grades. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. This is yeah. I can tell you because grade. I remember in the first year when I came. And also, give yeah. also your suggestion because it's the last one. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, when I came uh, in the first uh, final exam of the, the first semester. So I failed in one subject, which was my, like I can say, my best subject, oh, my favorite subject yeah. back at home, which is accounting. Oh yeah. I failed in that subject, and I was like, uh, I was down, I was depressed, and it was really, it was really bad for me because back at home I was quite good in accounting, but when I came here, like we say in Portuguese, have a very fool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But then, I, but then I decided that I had co to cope up. What I did is, uh, I put away the, 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 the notes I received from the class, and I started a, 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 a course. I can't say the platform. Can I say the platform? Nah, yeah. No sponsor. This <laughs> yeah. <podcast>. Uh, <laughs> sponsor it. We'll talk about it. <laughs> yeah. I started the course in, in in one platform online. Uh, I had like uh, one month, one month and a half having a course in that platform online, and I was completely ready to do, go and yeah, I, exactly. I went back and I did my my backlog, and I had A, which a was grade. really you good. Know, extremely yeah. so you know, give give your suggestions for those who are coming okay. to close the program because we are at the end. <laughs> yeah, I think it's all about pursuing your dreams. Yeah. Uh, I've seen people facing a lot of difficulty here and they say I would never suggest people to come to Anja uh, but for me I would not say it like that yep. uh, when you get easy things you will not value the same way that Definitely. you when, when you get uh, the things in, in a hard way yeah. coming to India specifically saying here in Andhra Pradesh studying in Andhra University is uh, you can you can start a new way of, of, of living, a new style of living. You can you 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 can like have discipline because this is really hard. This is really hard. Not only hard because of, of the contents in the in the schools or of the subject, but a lot of things are involved. One minute more. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I would say people if you want to apply and come here, yeah, do apply and come here. You will learn a lot of things from the, 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 the science in the college to the lifestyles, discipline your, in your life, organizing your life, managing your time. Because you will not have your mother, your brother, your sister to there so that they can do everything for you. You leave the college hell in the, in the afternoon, almost in the evening, you have to manage your time, yeah. cooking, uh, washing, uh, cleaning, everything yeah. you will do by your own. So and you still have to take some time, some time to to read the notes. It's very difficult. But Alvaro Morata, as an I want to I want to create something. Yeah. You know, more uh, from experience. You know, mm -hmm. Indians they have some problem dealing with failure. Yeah. yeah, this is a problem with Indians. Mm -hmm. When they fail on something, or the grade is so down, more yeah. than like what they yeah, was expecting. So it's come so like it's difficult for them to deal with that. But in my 
in my place, I like I take it a normal way. I just sit and I look to you know to see what was wrong, what was wrong, where I failed, and I never take like I never take away my my papers. Yeah. Yeah. Just to check. Okay, I failed here. No, I have to read more in this phase, this chapter, and whatever, so that I can get through next time. This is my my point. This is yeah. Whenever you fail, just try again. Yeah, whenever you fail, everyone just fails. try again. Everyone fails. I like this sentence. Whenever you fail, yeah, just try, try again. And we'll die. Because, uh, we'll be always failing. And Thomas Edison, the one who discovered the lamp or the electricity, say that I didn't fail. I just find a thousand times to fail. <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much to be here in the podcast. I believe that your feedback and your viewpoints about everything that we have a talk here it will change many people minds and it can also motivate other peoples for my fellow indians we are not here against you calm down chill bro we are just here to share our experience we love each other we are one country one continent one continent no <laughs> two different continents but we are family we are together we love you guys and especially for my indian sisters Keep on. It's your <laughs> J <laughs> Jerry Bang brother here. I just would like to to left uh, a few advice. Bible, Proverb chapter 16, verse 1. Plan everything, but the last answer will be from God. So as a college, before you come, before you apply, before you start studying, plan everything nothing work without planning the four pillar of any kind of organization is plan organize direct and control so plan everything organize it direct that it's meant to execute and control check if you are go everything is going as you plan it so god bless you god bless us nosh podcast don't forget to subscribe and put your like on the channel so share the link for your friends I would, like, I would like to thank you guys for the opportunity you gave me to yeah. be here in your podcast welcome so, uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll invite you more time i think Abu I Banesh, we are coming <laughs> we are coming so thank you guys see you nosh beamboard china walter the Norse Podcast. Trust me. You were too far from real. Trust me. Trust me.